pretty good. But we're also going to throw some different twists into this. We're going to do some little bent arm slicers and stuff. I think you'll enjoy it. So we'll have some fun with that. Okay? Um, we'll start. So everybody, if you haven't been to my camps before or here at this camp, we're going to do the, the basics of spinning juji. Also, we want to talk to some people because, um, you know, I, a lot of guys I work with who've done maybe uh, other forms of grappling or jujitsu, you know, they, they get, don't get hung up, don't get lost in the forest for the trees, you know what I'm saying? Don't get hung up on a lot of little minutia and make a relatively efficient movement too hard. Okay? Fundamentally, what Mike's going to do, he's going to just slightly trap the arm, he's going to curl up, he's going to roll JT over, and he's going to trap and stretch his arm. So we're going to talk about, let's break this down, because fundamentally, teach it right from the start, and you're, you, they'll, you guys will be better. Okay, wait, before we get started, just let's talk about it. Okay, so look, Mike's going to, you're going to go with your left hand trap. Okay, so Mike's going to go for JT's right arm. That's the one he wants to lock. He's not pulling it over and doing all this cool stuff like you see in the videotapes. He's just trapping it. And he's just trapping it to his body. He's not making a big deal out of it. And it's important not to make a big deal out of it. Let's come back to your start with you. Look, that left hand, he just traps it. He shrimps. That shrimping action helps trap it further. Don't pull it across and do all... If, if, if this guy's trying to pull my arm across and thinking, ah, oh, you want my right arm. I'm not giving you my right arm. I'll posture back up and kill it. So don't make a big deal of it. What is setting him up is movement. Okay, he's controlling with movement. So now when he does this, when he swings, do it again, again. When he traps, sweep. Now, when he comes under, see how he, now he's perpendicular here, sideways, kind of like a big L, okay? But look how he hooked. His head is real close to his knee. He traps. You may not always trap very well, but you could, gi or no gi. And that, look at that foot come over the head, bend it. Now he's really trapped his arm at this point. He rolls up and he traps again. The concept of trapping that arm is really important, but don't make a big deal out of it till the very end when you really want it and really stretch it. That, so teach it fundamentally correct. There we go. Now watch, when he rolls, he's sitting up, boom, trap, and roll back, okay? He's trapping his opponent's arm to his body, using his whole body weight to roll back and not, not doing this arm thing and trying to fight it. And again, a lot of you guys have been in our camp before and know this and teach it like this, Thank you. I know it's I'm preaching to the choir, but some of you newer guys on the mat don't know this, and I want you to know because this is. You see a lot of people do a lot of stuff. They push away. They make too much space. It, it, it's not an efficient movement. This is where we said at the first when we were drilling, warming up. Stay round. This is where being round is essential. And you notice when we we're rolling in the triangles, you were staying round, weren't you? You weren't flattening out. So it's a fundamental skill in, in ground fighting and what we do to stay round. All right, so watch, see, and as he traps and he turns, now when he traps and turns, he shrimps under, sitting up. Now look at the final trap and control. We call that a lever. I picked up the phrase lever from Neil Adams, okay? It's, yeah, you're prying him, but it's more than that. You're levering it free. There are a lot of different ways other than prying it free. You're levering it free. You're, it, you know, it is a lever, so you're controlling it. One more time, guys. We'll drill on this. I know a lot of you are good at it. We'll drill on a little bit here, and then we'll go on from here. See how he did it? Why this is good to be seasoned guys, too, right now is, think of this. In your last competition or your last roll session, did you get in that position and did you hit it? If not, there's something you need to pay attention to. You know, this is, this is, I will always go back to the basics. I will always go back. To These the are the core one. skills that win. You know, I know some people think, oh, they'll say, oh, we only do, like, modern jiu-jitsu or modern judo or sambo. Yeah, good. Okay, fine. Uh, you're not making up the rules as you go along, guys. These are fundamental skills. If you're not good at this, you're not going to do a more advanced way of setting this up. And by the way, this is a pretty darn advanced way of setting it up. We consider it fundamental. You know, uh, some people don't. It is a fundamental skill. So do it really well. Get good at one side and do the other side. Okay, but get good at one side for sure. This is a skill you should be ambidextrous at. You should be able to go right and left because you never know which way you have to roll. Okay? If you're in a cage fighting an MMA, I'm not going to roll them into the cage because I'll lose them. If I'm in a judo match and I'm at the edge of the mat, I'm not going to roll them out of bounds because I'll lose them. So in whatever grappling sport or fight you're in, 
you want to make sure you're good at both sides so you can keep them in keep them in bounds where you can really crush them. Okay? All right, we'll do this. Then we're going to go on from here. Jumping up, we're going to do a nice arm slicer, bent arm slicer from here. So we'll go from here. 